Hey meal preppers, it's Allison, Prep Dish founder. And today I'm here to share with you the top 10 foods that I meal prep for my baby while doing baby led weaning. So this really combines two of my favorite topics. The first is meal prep. I've built my entire business on meal prep and helping people prep their meals ahead of time. And then the second is baby led weaning. So I have a baby at home and when I went to introduce him to solids, I knew I wanted to do um, the baby led weaning process. One of my good girlfriends, uh, Wendy Jo Peterson, wrote a book on this called Born to Eat. I will make sure and link that below because that is one of my tips. Other than, you know, I'm gonna walk through the foods that I use, but I do recommend checking out a re some resources to make sure that you're familiar with you know, safe um, feeding habits and if your baby's ready to eat and all of that, like going, and I'm not gonna go into that um, on this video. So just uh, make sure that you know those resources are there and it is important to know um, your child and where he is at and um, be able to kind of adjust the meals based on that. So that's my little disclaimer. Um, but let's go ahead and just kind of jump in, um, I've done a few other videos on baby led weaning when he was nine months old, the foods we used, a 10 month old and the foods we used. Um, but those were kind of just snapshots of his actual meals. And I know I always say really for the most part, he eats um, the same foods that we have. So I don't have to do a lot of special, you know, making baby food meal prep sessions. That's kind of the beauty of doing baby led weaning is for the most part, they can eat what you're eating, maybe just with a few modifications, um, depending on where they're at. Um, but that being said, there are definitely um, some foods. I try to do a little bit of meal prep at the beginning of the week. So that way, if we get to a dinner and I'm like, oh, I don't know if that's gonna work for him, then I have something else that I can use. Um, this has also been helpful, you know, over the holidays we traveled right after the holidays to my uh, mom's house and um, I did some of this meal prep for him for the same reason just to make sure um, you know and he's and he's really eating kind of four times a day having three meals and a snack so making sure there is always something that I could offer him um, so I'm gonna kind of break this and in, down into categories because that's kind of how I look at it when I'm building a plate for him is making sure we have staples from each category so um, the first one I'm going to start with is kind of like starchy, like starchy vegetables and making sure there was something that he could have. Um, so, and I do these all meal prep style. So at the beginning of the week, I will, um, do kind of a batch of this and have it in a container. We actually have separate kind of containers that we use for his, um, foods that we prep. So that way, um, in the fridge, we know what's kind of, you know, for him. And so we make sure and always have that set aside. So the top three items there, and these top items are, there's kind of two purposes for them. One is like, okay, these foods work well in terms of his stage and eating level and all that, and they're healthy, but they're also foods that I've learned he really likes. Um, so the first is sweet potato. Um, he most definitely gets that from his mom because I, if you follow me on prep dish or anything, you know I'm quite the fan of sweet potatoes and he is, um, yeah, <laughs> he likes them as well. So um, what I'll do there is either boil or bake some sweet potatoes at the beginning of the week. Um, and then we can always use these for his starch. If there's a starch, if our meal either doesn't have one or if he can't have the one that we are eating. Um, and honestly, this is not that different because I tend to bake, before baby, I would always bake a big um, pan of sweet potatoes at the beginning of the week and use them for myself too. So I don't know what that says about me if me and my baby are having the same meal prep, but um, sweet potatoes is one. Um, the second is white potatoes. Um, same thing, just white potatoes instead of sweet. And then the third is kind of more of a category. And this was in the fall. So he was kind of right in the thick of getting started like eight to 10 or 11 months in the fall. So we did a lot of the orange squashes. So butternut squash, acorn squash, kabocha, I don't know how to pronounce that, kabocha. I, it, it just, just, anyway, there's another orange squash and even spaghetti squash, that one he loved in the beginning and then kind of, he's gone through phases with spaghetti squash, um, but any of the dark, deep orange squashes, 
he loves and it worked well for our timing because I know sometimes when they're out of season they're not as good um, and now that we're coming out of that like the acorn squash isn't as reliable as it was but he also doesn't need um, that texture like he did back then it was a really good um, kind of fallback for us so anyway those were the three kind of veggies that we relied on and would have on hand um, and then the next category was protein. And this one was important, especially when we were first starting out, there were a lot of proteins we would eat. You know, if we had shrimp or, you know, like a, a chicken breast that we wouldn't have time to chop up for them. And there were just a few things that as we were, you know, getting into it, we weren't sure if we were ready to dive all in on a few of the proteins. So proteins that we would have on hand include um, salmon, he has loved salmon from the beginning. It's nice, it's flaky. I don't have to worry about choking on it. It's, you know, we get really nice, vital choice seafood, salmon, and so it's really good, you know, for his brain development because of all the omega-3. So that's made me very happy that he's a big salmon lover. Um, so that's one that we'll try and have on hand. Um, and then another one is meatballs. So we had meatballs one time, it was, um, they're made with ground pork. That was a prep dish recipe and he loved those. So um, we now, every now and then we'll, I'll make some and put them in the freezer and then I can just pull out a meatball or two at the beginning of the week if I feel like I might need them to fill in for some protein options. Um, and I think I have that recipe. I'll look, I, it might be on a blog, so I'll link that below. Um, and then the third is like a shredded chicken. Um, so this was in my, I believe I talked about this in my nine month um, video, because I think that's when we discovered he really liked it. And it was nice, it has a bunch, the one that I made in the beginning was this Moroccan flavored, and so it has a bunch of spices. And I like um, that he, you know, could be, that I can introduce him to a variety of spices too. So that's one that I've made multiple times and we'll put in the freezer to pull out in case we need an extra um, protein. Um, two bonus proteins that don't have to be prepped. Um, one of them is liverwurst. So when he, especially when he was low in iron for a little bit, we um, did liverwurst, which is uh, from US Wellness Meats, but it's got a really nice texture and he loves it. Um, I actually like it too. I'm not a huge fan of liver, but I can do liverwurst and it's um, packed with iron, but also a lot of other nutrients. So that's a good one that he's really enjoyed. And there's no prep because it's, it comes frozen, but it's pre-cooked. So it's a really easy one. Um, and then the other kind of no prep required would be um, tuna. And I make sure to buy the low mercury tuna. So Safe Catch brand has one where they actually test the mercury content. Um, I love that. I love having to eat seafood, but it it's, um, if he's gonna eat on a regular basis, I like that it can also know that that's tested and it's not gonna be too high in mercury for him. Um, so that's the proteins. And then um, the third category, and this is one that's kind of low prep, but just making sure we have on hand for him, and that's fruit. So um, things like berries, you know, they just have to be washed at meal time, so you really don't need to prep those. Um, some of them might need to be uh, cut. And then bananas. Um, he really likes uh, bananas and those are a nice easy one to have on hand um, and then kiwi so that's one that i didn't buy a lot of kiwi <laughs> until baby but he really enjoys kiwi um, it's nice and high in vitamin c and especially as i mentioned there was kind of a time where we were trying to get his iron levels up so um, you know pairing a meat some sort of protein that's high in iron with the vitamin c which would be like a kiwi would be an example of that so um, he really likes kiwi, so we give him that a lot. Um, and then kind of whatever's in season. So when peaches were in season, we gave him peaches and um, he's gone through all, like all the different fruits. But anyway, so that's kind of, that's what I look at at the beginning of the week is kind of those items. I'm looking at, I have a list written down over here and I just looked, I had a bonus item and this was a vegetable. So all of those, I think if you would have asked me before baby, I probably wouldn't be that surprised that those are on the list. Um, but there was one that has surprised me and has been added to kind of our regular meal prep rotation for baby, and that is um, radishes. So I boil and peel radishes for him and he loves them. So, um, and if I get the radishes with the greens, I'll even, and I do this for myself too, but I'll 
um, wash and cook the radish greens and he'll eat those as well but the radishes themselves he he really likes those so i've added that into her, his regular rotation so if you're looking for something new that maybe you haven't tried um, boiling radishes and when you boil them it does not have that spicy flavor anymore so boiling them kind of removes that pungent spice that they have so um, yeah he's a big fan of radishes those are the foods i wanted to talk about i referenced earlier but if you want to check out more videos i have a nine month uh, baby led weaning it's um, pictures of foods that i actually fed him and then i have the exact same thing but for 12 or not 12 10 months so I have a nine month and a 10 month uh, video already out. If there's anything else on this topic you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments below.